the one thing that showed up for me was, you know, we're talking a lot about disrupting the ball and the different ways you can do that. And it's not just takeaways. And I think we had four deflections in team period today. Like that is gigantic. When you talk about third downs and you can bat two balls down out of 15 third down plays, I mean, you're gonna, that could be the difference in winning and losing football games in critical moments. So that was one thing I liked was the physicality, but you combine that with we were still playing smart on the defensive line. Do you think the players draw some extra juice by knowing there's extra eyeballs on them? Of course. You know, there's actually studies that players would rather hear things from people they don't know than people they do know nowadays because social media. So this is just them having to perform in an environment where people are around them and watching. And I think the more we can do that, the better we're going to be. Do you plan to do that again, possibly I do. in the future? I do. What did you think about just the, the execution of what you guys are trying to do out there? Offensively, we got a lot in and it looks like it. We're all over the place right now. We, we moved to some people's positions around a little bit, just a spring ball. We're trying it out. So you could see us not getting a line fast enough at times. Uh, and just not executing. Uh, it's obviously day three, but to me, that's not, it's not an excuse. Uh, we still have to execute at that level. And then defensively, uh, to be honest, the young, the linebackers that we signed are very, very smart football players. I'm very pleased with their just intelligence to pick up the scheme. You know, you see Keyshawn Elliott out here making plays, Zyrus, Crook, all those guys that we signed are just savvy football players, and it shows up in those team settings, uh, especially when it's real football. Uh, Kaisan Brown, he looks bigger and honestly better. Uh, how, how much work has he put in in the offseason? Yeah, I mean, he's a worker. That's him by nature. I mean, he got into the Barrett Honor School here. That's not an accident because everything he does, he does it full speed ahead. I mean, he's writing a paper on how to succeed in the Barrett Honor School, uh, and he's succeeding in the Barrett Honor School. And I think that right there is just who he is. Everything he does in life, he's smart, he's tough, he plays fast, he plays hard, he cares. And I think that shows up in every aspect of his life. Yeah, I mean, I think I see some improvement and then some things get, you know, drop off. But uh, when pads get on, people lose their mind a little bit uh, because you're so you're so ready to practice. And oh, it's real football now. I've been talking crap that wait till the pads get on for six months. Well, the pads are on. So the juices are flowing. Right. That's why we brought people out here because I wanted people to try to lose focus of just doing their job and doing it full speed. So all we're trying to do is distract our guys and create adversity from them to actually just focus on their job and repeat. And that's why I made that little uh, you know, comment about batting the ball down. It's because usually the first day in pass, nobody bats the ball down. They're just trying to get to the quarterback. Bull rush, look how tough I am. For us to still play physical and have that awareness and play smart football, right? That's what we need to build to be. Coach, can you already feel the culture that you've tried to establish over the past year, like instilled in practices like this now? I mean, I would, can you, you you answer that question. What do you think? I think it's great. I want, I want to know what you feel. From yeah. Well, see, it's hard for me because I'm in it. So, like, when I'm here, it's like when, you know, your brother loses weight and you see him every day. And then someone's like, oh, he lost 20 pounds? Oh, crap. I didn't even notice that, right? Because I saw him every day. Okay, it's the same thing. I see it every day. So, do I think our, our guys in our room and the maturity is, is a different team? 100%. But it's harder for me to really see it. Uh, than you guys who kind of are, are gone for six months and then come back and then just see how the guys operate. That's why I kind of asked you is just, you know, what is your thoughts? That's why I let y'all out here so you guys can write if we're doing a good job or bad job. <laughs> Seeing the quarterbacks for the first time in pass, what were your impressions of them? Yeah, obviously, you know, Sam got dinged up early, just tweaked, tweaked his hip, he's fine though. So we held him from the practice, but the other guys, uh, you know, they're going out there and executing. We're putting a lot in. Like we have, a, we have three times the amount in this spring than we had last spring. So we're trying to put a lot on them mentally right now, uh, on the guys so we can get it all in, and then hopefully the back end of the spring, we can clean things up. Uh, what are you seeing out of Navi? Does he look like a typical walk-on to you? Uh, and just like, what are your thoughts on just left-handed quarterbacks too? <laughs> yeah, well one, I really don't care if you're a walk-on or a scholarship kid here, we're gonna play the best kids. So I don't look at Navi and say, oh, that's a walk-on. I look at Navi and say, that's a two-time Gatorade State Player of the Year. That's how I look at him. When I walk him, that's the vision I have of Navi. And that's how I look at all of our players. It's not, are you on scholarship or are you not? I don't care. We're going to play the best 11. We're going to play the best 22 and the best guys on special teams, whether you're a scholarship or not. And uh, you can see the savviness. Like, he makes plays, moving out of the pocket, scrambling. I told him he's going to get a welcome to football hit eventually in college, <laughs> playing like that. But his awareness 
you can tell why he was so successful and why he led his team to a state championship last year. Unbelievable awareness on the field.